Well, the Max Track Lot Doppler is showing a little bit of activity out to the west. We've got the possibility of some isolated showers out there. In fact, as we zoom in and show you a time lapse out across I-65, there's been at least a sprinkle or two, some isolated showers uh, tracking east, southeast, and pretty much fizzling out as they do so. But if we throw the composite up, you can see it's some stormy weather for Evansville, southern Indiana. The broader view shows it in motion and even more development back to the west. So there is a severe storm component uh, to these showers, these thunderstorms today. And right here is the reason why. We've got active weather inbound and wave of low pressure. And at the moment, stationary front that'll make it in here is a warm front tomorrow, and then a cold front follows it up. So we've got active weather on the move as well, but it's not until tomorrow. For today, the severe threat, there's an enhanced risk from eastern Iowa going into central Illinois. Slight risk out through Indy and a marginal risk clipping our northern counties. And then tomorrow that threat shifts southeast. So there's a slight risk for severe storms from SBC Tuesday afternoon and evening. This will be our best potential, I think, between the front coming in and that daytime heating to get something going tomorrow. And then it gets even nastier as you head out towards uh, mid-Atlantic states, D.C., under an enhanced risk for severe storms. Lexington's gone 11 days in a row without rain. We are crispy out there. It has been a bone dry August so far We're running over an inch and a quarter deficit. We could use some and it's entirely conceivable that we could get gapped tomorrow in Lexington because the showers out west today should completely fall apart as they roll in here tonight. There may be an isolated shower thunder shower late. A morning round dives in tomorrow morning and falls apart as it does so. You can see it fizzles, so there's their chance for maybe a little bit of rain, and then anything we see later in the day is likely going to develop farther southeast where we could get into that severe potential. So it'll be interesting to see how tomorrow plays out. One thing we're not going to be short on is heat and humidity. We're already in the mid 80s. That's even with that extensive cloud cover out west. Uh, but you will notice it's a little bit cooler, upper 70s to low 80s, where those clouds are thicker and those couple of showers are on the move. Uh, but there's a massive heat wave underway, stifling heat and humidity from Texas across the deep south. And we are going to catch a little bit of it as well. As the humidity rises, as that warm front lifts in tomorrow, look at that, a brief spike in the triple digits for the heat index, the heat and humidity combined. And as a cold front sweeps in, we see those showers and storms into the evening. We should back off that a little bit, but it is going to be hot and steamy tomorrow. Heat advisories, excessive heat watches, excessive heat warnings along the Mississippi River Valley. There is a heat advisory out for western Kentucky, uh, but as of uh, the moment, nothing issued here. But be ready, it'll be a pretty steamy Tuesday. Partly sunny, isolated showers, thunder showers late today. Highs likely on either side of 90, trending slightly cooler out west with those clouds are thicker. Mid 70s tonight, a few showers and storms late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then that secondary development into southeastern Kentucky where we could see damaging wind, hail, and some heavy rain. Uh, low end shower and storm chains lingering early in the morning for Fayette County kids first day back. I think it should end up fairly quiet and that heat cranks up after some brief relief in the mid to upper 80s. We're back in the 90s Dia this weekend. All right, Tom. Well,